All right, let's try to see if the other people know anything then about this lady driver. You there, old woman, can you help me with my investigation? No, man. You caught me at an opportune moment. This awful weather gives me away. You can entertain me with your questions. How happy I am. All right, are you the lady driver? Did you just call me a lady, Sheriff? She clearly doesn't think she's a lady. Don't repeat it. <laughs> um. <laughs> I was told a woman driver. You're the only woman here. <laughs> I'm not that either, Sheriff. Her smile dissipates. I've gone too far from it all to remember what was between my legs. It doesn't work like that on the long haul. So you're not the driver everyone is terrified of. I'm only terrifying the small children and the dolls who used to know me. I guess I can understand. Why are you scared to the people who used to know you? Because they can no longer recognize the person I once was. I can. I guess I can understand that part. I guess I can understand. You said long haul. That's uh, a big one. The tracks. There's no woman and men there. It's all just she hums along if. As if to a track on repeat. In the middle of this town is the costly modern way. It takes all the people where they want to stay. You feel very cold suddenly, as if standing face to face with a terrifying adversary. Then the feeling dissipates and all you see is an aging woman. In the background a quiet song seeps from her capping into the air. You don't hear any vocals. What a shame. Then, who is this female driver I was told of? How should I know? Do I look like I spent a lot of time with the other cameras sniffing around when I have my movies to go to? Well, that's all I needed to know. Thanks, then. Oh, Sim. The woman stares at you, her mind elsewhere now, on other matters. Well, guess we won't be getting any more answers from her. As only the guy here that I know then that is also a lorry driver but considering this is a possibly to try to open door it's uh, likely that that's something I would need to do looking for something the lorry driver recognizes you yes I know you've been giving me a run around fess up where's the lady driver he smirks I don't know what you're talking about First, you knew Sealant didn't do it. He did something. He stole his employer's goods and another lorry man's job. You should be thankful for the tip. He grins a wide smile. He's been expecting this. He's really puffed himself up. Then why are you smirking? Listen up, fuckwits. You don't scare me. Your cops don't run Revenge West. You don't run Ram Martinez. You don't run anything. So who does? You then? Th no, I'm gonna. So, who does? The lady driver? No. The lieutenant turns to the lorry man. He means La Pute Madre. The name resounds like a bell in the air, a dark gong. You get a bad feeling about it. L L La Pute Madre. Hmm. Looks like the lieutenant has a plan. Let him do this. Alright. For a moment, the lorry man is silent, then he spits on the pavement. Yeah, him. Cross your arms and not. Yeah, totally. Then I presume you're familiar with his pions. Ah, yeah, he says, unsure where this is leading. Uh, there's little here. There's these little bitches. He's got them all over the unions. Not just the unions. He has pions everywhere. Some say he even has them in Arsiam. He gets closer to him. Dirty fucking peons would do anything for him. Multi-ethnic truck addicts. Say nothing. Let him do his thing. You're not peons, he says. You won't be investigating truck thing if you were. No, of course not. We are not peons, but if we were, and one of Matra's divers were to be stealing from him. 
then it's a good peon's job to find out who that is. It's not a hard job, it won't take a long time. It won't make Batre Matre angry. He looks at him. But a stupid fucking racist is standing in the way, protecting this fucking teeth. His eyes dart between you and the lieutenant. I I'm not scared of you, or the mob. I'm under the protection of the lorry man and the gangster's guild. Carter's guild. You have seen that corpse in the ceramic armor there. The lieutenant points to the yard. And did he shit a little guilt to protect him? No, you wouldn't just leave him out there if you... He tries to light a fresh cigarette, but his hands are shaking now. The sentence simply ends. <laughs> cool. The lieutenant turns and gives you a barely perceptible nod. I've softened him up as best I could. And now it's on you to finish the job. Half light. M. 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 Can I have any more of this goddamn? Why does it have to be half light? <laughs> Why check though? So you can always retry it later, yeah. But uh, we need the information very fast after all. So that's the that's the big issue here. Hmm. I really wish I could get some half light right now more. Let's see, nothing decreases it, right? Yeah, nothing decreases it, nonetheless, from the things that we're holding. Visual calculus, shivers... This gives just those things. Anything here that could give me a little bit of extra half like this can. Flan Ultra close yes that's to give a little bit more of a chance of getting this done even though it's still extremely unlikely after all he needs so much of it it's a legendary goddamn difficulty <sighs> well now we should at least have uh, just a minimal better Looking chance for something so 58 percent so it's over half I uh, don't think we can get any better at the moment. It is a white check, so we can retry it later, though. Yes, success! Legendary success. Men like this only respect two things. Strength and fear. So me her lorry right fucking now. The lady driver's lorry, where is it? <laughs> Fuck you, I told you, I'm not gonna... There, his voice grows smaller as yours. Is gonna grow bigger, right? I'm gonna fuck you for the rest of my life, you understand? I've been to your fucking lorry. I know where it is. Point to it. I'm gonna burn it down, you hear me? <laughs> um, sure. I've been to your fucking lorry. I know where it is. Point to it. I'm gonna burn it down, you hear me? Look, fuck you, man. He tries to wave you off. It's some lorry down there. Cream banged up thing. I don't fucking know where, who she is. When did she go away? I don't know. I don't even know her name. She just rolls with the fleet and acts like a big shot. Some dyke, probably. I haven't even, even seen her for days. And now it's not a big deal for him anymore. This is how he saves face. Where exactly is her lorry? <laughs> The jam mystery. We let him go. Past the monument down there, he waves off. The green temple. I'll leave him at the fuck alone, okay? A small temple by the monument green. He turns to you. Let's get into that lorry. Looks like you got his adrenaline up too. <laughs> cool. We did this. Woohoo. Ah, it's late. It's getting late today, but hey, we did it. We got one step closer again. Definitely should be down here somewhere then, right? We got a step forward. One step closer. Yep, it should be this one. This is green, definitely. 
The screen phone AZ Contemporary is sparking the shadow of the ruins looming overhead. It's seen better days. Uh, this must be the one he told us about, unless he was lying. The lieutenant peeks inside. Try to peek in the window first. The glass on the side window is tinted and covered with dust. You can barely make out the shapes of a seat and two steering levers. It feels like you're peeking into someone's home residence. Inside it's private, cozy, warm, dusty too. Try the door handle. The door is locked. The handle looks shiny like it's recently replaced. How are we going to get this open, Kim? Use the pry bar to smash the window, open it from the inside. Good idea. I don't know how good cool it is, but this investigation has taken long enough. We can't afford it to take any longer. Yeah, of course, minus 10, because I don't have it equipped, but... I was gonna be... I was wondering about, anyways, equipping it. Let's also put... I, I don't know. I guess I like the look of these gauntlets more, though. <laughs> Uh, but interfacing usually is a good thing to have. But crowbar. First and foremost, I need a crowbar. I did also have that book, I guess. There, we got that. E. My physical instrument is extremely bad, though. Hmm... I guess nothing even is really taking it down, right? <sighs> this is minus two physical instrument. It's only 30 more minutes. I guess we should be waiting for that at least to pass before I do so uh, try that out because it would be quite silly to just... And this gives me more. Sure, let's put it on. Electrochemistry. Hmm... Don't think there's anything more. Don't think there's anything more we can specifically do. Book, the greatest innocence. We could do that, or I could try to go and see if I could quickly try to ask about the book, the other book, that is, while our thought finishes up. And then we'll come and check this goddamn thing. Oh my, so much, so much work and trouble. So much work and trouble. Before the bookstore goes and finishes, or closes, as it is. My goodness, there's just so much stuff to do. So goddamn much stuff to do. I want to do this to at least end before we end for today. That's a, that's a certainty. Yeah, but all thought cabinets lots seem indeed usually always better than just forgetting old thoughts as long as we can buy new thought slots. Unless there's some really bad thought that we want to be getting rid of. Of course, that could be a difference. You're alive and well. Don't keep me waiting now. What's in there? In that dark sarcophagus? The dark sarcophagus. Yeah, I didn't talk to her after being there yet. <laughs> post dramatically. Yes, yes, how was it? Mm. It was a charnel house of failed business enterprises, leeching live energy from this bookstore. Well, this is at least something that she would definitely believe. I knew it. A tremor runs through her. Oh, such horrors that have been thrust upon us. She shakes her head. But what else did you find? Did anything survive? No, of course not. Have you located the entity? You don't have anything substan substance to tell her until you found that entity of hers. Well, I, I would be looking for a book about cuckoos, though. A book about cuckoos? There should be one upstairs, right next to the shelf of biographies. Okay, thank you. I'll go and have a look into that. Uh, for that book of cuckoos. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, is it this specific little one? 
from a strig, a kite to a well-behaved cockatoo. A Suffolk just that cockatoo sits on the cover, it speaks slightly open. It looks as if the bird is calling out the book title from a strig, a kite to a well-behaved cockatoo. What about this guide to the cockatoo storekeeper? It's a must-have if you own a cockatoo. I've heard they're quite capricious. Flip through the few pages. Turns out that there are so many different cockatoo species that they all have behavioral problems. <laughs> um, that would angry storekeeper stare down. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that would be working out very well. Uh, can I afford to buy another goddamn book? Sure, I guess. I still have over 30, uh, almost 30 reale. Oh, a nature interest. Good choice. I knew it was a good idea to keep that around. Yes. Well, now we have a book of uh, cuckatoos too. <laughs> Just difficult to turn out some of those uh, funny things that you can go and get for yourself. Even though I'm pretty sure that's pretty useless. But hey... Still, cuckatoos, right? I went and got the cuckatoo book, lady. Aren't you happy that you hired or are relying on me finding your husband, too? So happy, I'm sure. All right, let's just run back into here then. But yeah, he's a good guy. Good enough of a guy anyway, so I didn't want to bother him even more of trying to figure out where this lorry would be of this person's. But yeah, we can have at least a little bit better chance in just a moment or so. <sighs> How long? Nine minutes. Why can't the time when you want it to pass by quicker? Why can't it pass by quicker? Alright. Let's interact with this book of cuckatoos. A cuckoo is a parrot with an erectile crest, found on the Seminese Islands and in southern Fazala Mare. Known for their intelligence and general precociousness, cuckoos are popular birds in avi culture. However, they often exhibit various behavioral issues. Okay, what more? This book talks about the delicate nature of tools, as well as inducing some sort of a most popular species among the bird enthusiasts, the funeral cuckoo. The major majestic cuckatoo and the most common bang bang cuckatoo is colorfully illustrated. Alright, read about the most common bang bang cuckatoo. Despite its banging name, the bang bang cuckatoo is actually the shyest of the species, common in almost all Seminese forests as well as zoos and homes all over the world. Its plumage is mainly grey and white. The Seminese name bang bang is thought to be an onomapoetic origins. What about major majestic cockatoo? Cockatoo. Perhaps the most impressive of all the species, the indigenous major majestic cockatoo is often described as the most flamboyant bird in the jungle. Its pink colored wings and flowing crest embellishment its proud and pumptious nature. Breakthrough imminent! Yay! But it happened. In the words of poet explorer Sir James Fournier, few birds more eliven the monotonous hues of the urban forest than this big, bold, and beautiful species. All right. Let's have a look. Yeah, that should be basically now then done. So let's put the book away and we can read more later. Okay, let's do this. Thought complete wasteland of reality. Congrats, you're sober. It will take a while for your body to remember how to meta metabolize anything that is in sugar from alcohol, so you're going to be pretty ravenous soon. Eat plenty. You can expect your coordination and balance to improve in a couple of weeks. In two months, you might start sleeping like a normal person. Full recovery will take years, though. It'll be depressing. I'll be boring. Don't expect any future rewards or handicaps. This is how normal people are all, all the time. Well, <laughs> oh, my success journey is minus one because I'm boring. Inland Empire is minus because I'm sober. Physical instrument is minus because I'm insomnic. Psyche is plus because I'm returning to the one uh, return of the self. No positive effects from alcohol, of course, which would be logical in this situation. But so many minuses still. <laughs> it's really is bad to be like uh, getting. Um, sober, so to speak, yes. 
Without alcohol, the life is boring. Our inland empire is suffering from being so sober, and we even have a insomnia issues still. Minus one instrument still. How freaking great. This is a lot of <laughs> minuses considering Psyche overall plus one i guess though so like does it mean that overall yeah this overall is plus one so i guess in that sense even though the suggestion is me minus one the psyche pace overall is so high that like that's why i was thinking that would this be have been six but i guess it is indeed that i just uh was six before and now it's seven because of that yeah bonus from the thought plus one in that sense it's amazing thought because you have the full plus one into this the unfortunate thing is that we really need the physical instrument at this moment to try to break into this goddamn lorry so not sure we're, how we're gonna be doing that exactly yeah at least we have a slightly better chance now than before but <laughs> not great enough i'd say not great enough uh, i need so many more skills but our level up is even far away, we're not gonna be getting this for a bit still, like a level up even, so... Yeah, yeah... And there wasn't any more thoughts that were giving us a minus on that though, right? That's just, uh, yeah, zoom distance on that... Learning cap... Ah... <sighs> Wish that we could do this a little bit easier, but I guess we'll at least give it a go and probably will fail, sadly. Yeah, challenge in failure. Pry bar in hand, you take a hard swing at the window. A loud thunk rings out and the pry bar bounces back, leaving a tiny spider web on the glass. Looks like the window might be shatterproof. You may have to rethink your approach. The window appears to be shatterproof. No, it is not shatterproof. Give me that. He takes the pry bar from you and gestures from you for you to step back. Then, with little warning, I hope you can do better, Kim, than I could. <laughs> <laughs> he smashes it into the window. Droplets of glass fly everywhere, shattering over the lorry floor and pavement. You can just reach in now. Nice, nice, Kim. You're way better than I. <laughs> hmm. He nods and gives you the tool back. It went better than I expected. Open it from the inside. Open the door. <laughs> oh my goodness. I am happy that you're here to help me, Kim, with at least some troubles that I'm having. <sighs> the smell of cigarettes and perfume welcomes you. The cabin inside is plastered with old movie posters. Actresses smile from the wall. There's a radio transmitter in the front and a toolbox stuck under the driver's seat. Some tools lie scattered near the pedestal. Admire the posters. They are movie posters featuring starlets from long forgotten films from the 20s, the teens, even the 90s of the last century. One of them particularly catches your eye, a centrefold of an ingenie attached right above the black seat. Study the centrefold. The actress is draped in a sheet dress, one of her shoulders bared, bared even. The faded remains of an autocrop run across the poster. She's looking past the camera. A feeling of tenderness washes over you, a longing even, perhaps, and gentle strategy. Interesting. Wait, doesn't she resemble someone you know? But you can't put a finger on whom exactly. Interesting. Maybe our ex? <laughs> Hopefully not. Enough the posters then. The actresses and the rare actor, actor all smile you a warm goodbye. A radio transmitter is attached to the dashboard and the toolbox is under the driver's seat. Examine um, the radio. Looks like the frequency dial is absent. It requires a key to work, but the key has been removed. Likely by the missing lady driver. The lieutenant leans closer to the radio and hums. Strange, there are so many radio stations saved here. Must be over 100 at least. Hmm? Why would anyone say it needs so many radio stations? For contacting an entire fleet of Loriman, for example. He licks a switch on the radio. Uh, this is a sort way, UV and UKV. 
Looks like we're dealing with an impressive and organizational tool. The nerve center of a huge operation with quite a range too. Would there be anything we can do with the radio? It doesn't look like it. It's completely inoperatable without the dial key. What else is here? The smell of a thousand cigarettes, some dead actresses and a rusty old toolbox under the seat. Check the bedals. You wet yourself under the steering wheel to get a better look. Seems like a few tools lying around here, a hammer, a pair of pliers, a rusty French, have been casually thrown there by the disorganized driver. But one odd detail does catch your eye. A piece of sandpaper has been glued to the throttle. Interesting. Sandpaper adds extra creep. Makes sense. Looks like the driver has glued a piece of sandpaper to the throttle to offer some extra creep. Sandpaper, the lieutenant repeats. A novel technique. Back up into the cabin again. The movie stars are still smiling from the walls. There's a radio transmitter in the front and pull out toolbox stacker under the driver's seat. And pull out the pull out toolbox. And made a lot of noise. A metallic drawer slides over to the seat. It's empty except for a folded uh, newspaper. Unfold the newspaper. It's an issue of very Ferik from the last Wednesday. A piece of paper falls out from its pages. Pick up the note. It looks like an article ripped out from the radio enthusiast magazine. Complex mathematical equation explained the basics of something called the Ulan frequency system. Okay. The lieutenant leans over your shoulder to examine the note. The Ulan frequency system. I've never heard of that before. I know of FM, AM, UKV, but his thoughts trail off. Unfold the newspaper. But I already unfolded it. I can push it back, I guess. There's nothing more in this. I guess not. Close the door. You close the rusty old lorry door. Great, I think we got everything. A word, detective. He steps away from the lorry before we return to choice. Certainly. All right, we've finished here. Let's quickly debrief and go over what we found. So we don't do it in front of the company rep. Makes sense. So it uh, seems like something police would do. What do you think of all of this, Kim? Honestly, I'm quite worried by what we've seen so far. The evidence seems to point to a rather extensive and well-organized operation. That is certainly true. I'm especially intrigued by that radio transmitter, particularly the sheer number of stations it can connect. Looks like this alleged truck trade casts a white net. This means it's well-funded. Technology like that, a major player must be financing it. I'm not sure what the new land frequencies are all about, but they may hold some significance. Perhaps it's a better way to connect between fleets while avoiding frequency bleed, or maybe it's used to tap into our CM networks. Listening on your calls, between you and your station, a very prospect indeed. How do you think, think this is connected to, uni to the Union? We didn't find anything conclusive linking them to the smuggling operation, but somehow I doubt that Everett Clare would be oblivious to something like this happening right under his nose. My suggestion is we use it against the Union in any way we can, to our own ends. It's a slippery eel, but we just might be able to pin them down indirectly and down the road. What about the movie posters? How do they factor into all this? Probably not much in his uh, mind. As uh, elegant as they are, I don't think they are relevant to the drug trade. Oh, people, this always plays a role. A lot of women there, especially for a lady driver's cabin. Ah, break to imminent. Yes, well, he doesn't say more. Unimportant. <laughs> yeah. Will the RCM open an investigation into this? 
We should return to the murder case, see what Joyce tells us about the lynching. When we're done for the day, I'll call my station and success down narcotics department look into it. And there are more than enough grounds to start an official investigation sometime later when we're done here. We do not want to get caught in that. He stops to think. What are you thinking? The fact that one hasn't started already gives me pause. An investigation, I mean. Especially if the Matre grouping is involved. And I can't imagine they aren't. It's certainly worrisome. Yeah, corruption is definitely a plausibility. He nods. All the same, I don't like the idea of internal affairs descending on the matter. That won't help anyone either. Alright, so debrief over then about this for the now, for the moment. Debrief over, he nods. After you. Well, let's finish our thought first and foremost. Jamais vu deralization. Jamais. Ah, I wish that I would have gotten this earlier. <laughs> but hey, what can you do? I went to the different direction originally where I didn't get this. Jamais vu, the opposite of deja vu. Not already seen, but never seen. Everything that should be familiar appears strange and new. Like some half forgotten day in your childhood, only now that's the feeling you've been having. And for who knows how long, you should go and ask Joyce Messier about this. What world are we in? This is the fundamental question. Plus one XP for every or click. All intellect learning caps raised by one. It's all right too, but especially the experience, like... <sighs> if only that would be one of the first ones you get, that would help a lot in getting the experience to go and uh, raise all your god darn stats, because there's so much you want to increase. But, um... Uh, it's kind of a great question, what next? I guess we could go, maybe try still, to inform about this today. It is late. But is it too late? Not necessarily yet. Would be giving us a good start for the next day, I think. And now uh, we know the I, place. Uh, saw you poking around in Lady Driver's lorry. She in trouble? Uh, the race is told us where her cabin is. We only searched it. Still better than me, I guess. Told you there's plenty of others who tell on her, he leans in. But is she in trouble? Well, there's probably going to be an investigation. Hopefully. Is that bad? Let's out a whistle looking out ten years older suddenly. Man, what should I do? What should I do to help her? I understand it doesn't really help that part. I really don't know how can you help her. Um, I always warn her to watch herself, man. Nothing to do now, I guess. Maybe I should just keep my head down and work on my runs while I can. What's the plan with those rhymes anyway? Oh, you know. The dot lightens him up. Tommy Lehom is gonna be a musician's precious. What with beats? I got a lot of free time to roll to home my craft. Why Tommy Lehom? Tommy Lehom was taken. He shrugs in a what can you do manner. My real, real name is Jerry Lefit. Tommy's way better. Can get that, yeah? It's more him. Can I ask you one more question? Swinger shirt mickly. Best verse. Yeah, my conceptualization is kinda bad though. Yeah, I wish I could be telling him more, but after all, what can I really tell him at the end of the day? This it's not that much. Can I at least have a little bit more conceptualization from that? Composure. Ah, nothing here was taking it away, at least, right? I could probably equip this at least now again. Let's, uh... Authority, but who cares about that anyways? I Still guess here. this is a white Stuck check. In this damn jam, yeah. I 
What's so up? we might as well try our best luck. <laughs> yeah. Your best verse, you don't even have a bad verse in here. Just stumble with the liquor stains. Wait, no. What are you doing? She broke me. She fucking broke me. As brutal, man. But you know, time will. No, stop. He's already mortified. No, Tommy. They're, these are my rhymes. Listen. Continue. She fucked me till I bled. That's, uh, um. Yeah. In the name of. In the name of God, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, it's not real, guys. <laughs> this is, of course, like uh, the reality in all reality, but uh, we, we might as well continue when we started, right? I will never be the same again, she's always there. Fuck the case, fuck everything, total loom. Yeah, he doesn't know what to say, so he just repeats. Yeah, yeah, I, I get it. That the, these are your rhymes. They're, they're from your life. Doesn't matter if they're robust, they're honest. So, thanks, man. Yes, and I also thank you for stopping. He looks at you. We have a drug investigation to return. How about we do that? <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. We have a drug investigation. Yes. Mm -hmm. Totally. The drug investigation. That may be sometimes a thing. Well, let's go and see if we can still catch that. I do remember that the um, girl on top here had also he died here, right? The girl in there who was doing the artistry, but I doubt that's the lady in question regardless. Uh, and maybe she didn't even. Not sure. Maybe in the closer picture she might, but... All the clicks. On everything, always. To be continued with Kirarusha next time in Disco Elysium. See you all then.